I shot a comparison video between the all clad copper core pan and the Kirkland copper core pan, and it exploded, <laughs> and so did your comments. It seems like everyone has an opinion on how to clean stainless steel pans. So let's put those opinions to the test. Today, I'm gonna dirty all these pans, and then I'm gonna clean them, strictly based on the suggestions that you left in that video down below. I have a peculiar relationship with stainless steel pans. Even though you may see me cooking with them on the show, I really don't use them in my home a lot. Years ago, I purchased a whole set of Le Creuset pans, and they're just as expensive, if not more expensive, than Old Clad and those top-end brands but they're also a lot easier to clean. Unless you really burn them, then they're just as hard to clean. Unlike stainless, which may stain a little bit or get scratched, porcelain coated pans, they discolor. And that's something you kinda have to get used to. It doesn't affect the performance of the pan, but it's definitely an eyesore. Why do I use stainless steel here in my test kitchen? Well, unfortunately, I can't afford two sets of Le Creuset pans, one for my house and one for here, and I can't keep taking them from my house. And these Kirkland pots and pans that I use here on the show were pretty well made and very affordable. I think the safest metal to cook with is the one that's commonly found in your body, and that's iron. So I use cast iron a lot. I also like to use pans that have inert coatings on them, like porcelain, Pyrex, which is glass, or ceramic. That's what I use. The jury is kind of out on stainless steel pans. A lot of people feel that they are very safe, especially if you purchase them from a reputable country that uses the finest metals. And a lot of them feel that it doesn't matter where you buy your stainless from, it's just, they're not safe. One thing is 100% sure, aluminum is something I do not cook with. I have access to a website that allows professional chefs like myself to purchase all clad products at a discount. But when I went to that website before the holidays, it seemed like everything that I wanted to buy was sold out. So I went to Williams Sonoma which seems to always have sales on all clad products. And I used to call it Williams and Sonoma. Thank you for correcting me, Rob. I did purchase one. So the all clad pan that I purchased was identical to the pan in the set that you can buy from Kirkland. When I did the comparison video, I never thought that the Kirkland brand would hold up to the all clad brand. And now, like you, the proud owner of stainless steel pans, I wanna keep them clean. I also wanna find the easiest way of doing that. Now, in the comparison video that I did, I may have gone a little overboard with how dirty I got them, so today I wanna to keep it realistic, and I'm gonna make all of these pans equally dirty, but I'm not gonna burn the daylights out of them. I do wanna make sure that there's some decent carbon buildup in these pans, so I'm gonna cook two pieces of bacon in these pans at a moderately high heat. I'm gonna get the bacon slightly burned, and I'm also gonna cook a couple of pieces of the same amount of tomato in each one. I'm gonna clean each one of these pans based on your suggestions, and surprisingly enough, none of you suggested my secret weapon, which I will show you at the end of the video. Uh, I'm not making anything this week. I'm making these pans dirty, and based on viewer suggestions, I'm gonna clean them to see which is the best method to really? use to clean stainless. Yeah. You wanna help me clean them? Come on. Make me a method number one, plain old boiling water. One viewer suggested to simply take the dirty pan, put some water in it, boil it, use a wooden spoon, no chemicals, just scrape away with the tip of the wooden spoon and that gets it clean enough to take it to the sink and then finish it off with soap and water. Boiling the pan really works super well. The hot water lifted up most of the grease really quickly. I only agitated the bottom with a wooden spoon for about 30 to 50 seconds, but it did require a little bit of elbow grease in the sink. Overall, not a bad method. Method number two, vinegar. There were two ways that people suggested cleaning a pan with vinegar. The first was to boil the pan with equal parts water and vinegar, and that would lift off all of the grease. It really didn't make much of a difference whether the vinegar were there was not, in my opinion. It worked just as fine without the vinegar. Cleanup was about identical in the sink. A little bit of elbow grease. Second, to make a slurry with salt and vinegar and use that to scrape away the gunk. Let's try it with this yellow sponge first. All right, it's really coming off nicely with the yellow sponge, not bad, but the gunk is not coming out so easily. So let's switch to the green. 
It looks like the salt is acting a little bit as an abrasive. Not a bad method overall. You know, I'm gagging here on the scent of vinegar, which is a little annoying. But I think if we would have maybe boiled this a little bit first with the hot water, it would have been much easier to take off. <clears throat> I can't even breathe here. Actually, the salt and vinegar was not so bad. It needed a little bit more elbow grease than if I hadn't boiled it, but I would say the elbow grease on this was about a three. And it did a really nice job of cleaning the pan. Environmentally safe, no soap. Method number three, baking soda. The plan here is to soak the pan in the sink with hot water and baking soda for an hour. So the guy online, he never told me what hot meant with hot water. So I brought it to 140 degrees. So that pan is sitting in the sink with baking soda and hot water. Let's see how it cleans. So method number three with the baking soda worked ridiculously well. I didn't have to use any green scouring pad. Everything wiped off almost instantly with the yellow portion of the sponge. All right, you have to wait a little bit. On the elbow grease scale, it was a zero, at the most a one. Shocking, even the cruddiest of crud came off with no problems whatsoever. Hands down, an absolutely phenomenal way to clean a stainless steel pan. Thank God I didn't skip this comment. I thought someone was trying to be funny, and what they initially were talking about was scrubbies, not doobies, and I'm reading it and I'm saying to myself, doobies? Oh yeah, what do you do? You smoke a doobie so it makes the pan cleaning process easier? Here's the thing about scrubbies. They're awesome. I purchased them in my restaurant by the case. They're fantastic. I would not have the same restaurant without these scrubbies. They just rip through the grease. So much better than steel wool or soap pads. But every single manufacturer of stainless steel pans does not recommend that you use any steel wool, any Brillo pads, soap pads, or scouring pads, or scrubbies on any of their pots because they feel like it will take away the finish. However, all of these manufacturers, none of them will cover scratches. So what's the difference? If you don't mind looking at a finish that is not mirror-like, like the day you bought it, maybe you would consider using steel wool or scrubby pads on them. It certainly makes the cleaning process easier. Now you can do a fairly reasonable job of trying to keep those scrubbies clean, but ultimately they're gonna collect dirt and that dirt means bacteria, so not exactly simple and easy to have around in your kitchen. You may want to try to figure out how to soak them in something, maybe a bleach water solution. Uh, more for a commercial environment. Method number five, and this was hands down the most recommended method of keeping these pots and pans clean, Barkeeper's Friend. Let's see how the manufacturer recommends we use Barkeeper's Friend. It says here, sprinkle onto a wet surface, rub gently with a wet cloth or sponge. Rinse thoroughly within a minute of application, then wipe dry. I mean, I boiled my pans last time with this stuff. I guess I should have read this first. <laughs> Boiling water in the pan seemed to work better than Barkeeper's Friend. When I first put the Barkeeper's Friend on, I let it soak for a minute. Then I used the yellow part of the sponge just to see if I could take off any of the grime without using any portion of scouring pad at all. It didn't work very well. Once it started cutting through the grease, it started to work pretty nicely, but with a little bit more elbow grease. I would say on a scale of one to 10, the elbow grease was a five. Now method number six is Bon Ami. Someone recommended that Bon Ami works much better than Barkeeper's Friend. So we're gonna give that a try too. According to Bon Ami, same instructions. Wet surface, sprinkle on Bon Ami, rub with wet sponge or cloth, rinse. So the Bon Ami, Man, that didn't work very well at all. I had to put a lot of elbow grease to get the crud off the bottom of that pan. I wish it worked better. I thought it would be exactly like the barkeeper's friend, but it really wasn't. It was a lot of work. On a scale of one to 10, I would say that the elbow grease on that was a solid eight. Now method number seven is interesting because I use Dawn soap in my restaurant. I actually buy five gallon pails of this stuff, but this is a different type of Dawn soap. It's called platinum foam. Someone swore by this and said, this is truly the best way to get grease out of your pan. And I'm excited to give this one a try. So the Dawn Platinum Foam did a really great job of cutting through the grease, but not such a great job of cutting through the crud. At first I got excited because I saw it cutting through the crud with just a bare sponge, but then realized later on that it was a lot more elbow grease than I thought. 
just about as much as the Bon Ami. Method number eight is seasoning. So I'm gonna do this all over again and try it with seasoned pans. But how do you season stainless? A lot of people think it's a myth. You don't need to season them. But according to Maiden, which is an American made product, they have a method for seasoning their pans and they recommend that you do season stainless steel pans. Dry your pan, preheat the pan on the stove over medium heat. Heat expands, so this will help open up the pores in the metal. Once your pan is hot, place a small amount of oil in the pan. Place a wad of paper towel in the oil and wipe around the inside of the pan until there's a very thin layer of oil across the entire interior. You don't want to use too much oil here. It's better to start off with too little than too much. Make sure to use an oil with a high smoke point like vegetable, avocado, or grapeseed oil. And once the pan begins to lightly smoke, remove it from the burner and let it cool. Once cool, use a different paper towel, wipe the pan and remove any excess oil. Pan is cool, oil is wiped out. I'm gonna cook some tomatoes and bacon on a seasoned pan, see if it makes any difference in the cleaning process. Interesting thing, um, this would not allow the carbon from the sugars and the bacon and the tomato to stick to it once it was seasoned. I almost was very tempted to scrub at it with a wooden spoon while it was hot, because it looked like I can get most of the crud off while it was hot. But to be fair with the other techniques that we used, all the other pans were cold. So I let this cool to room temperature. Now I'm gonna try and clean it while it's seasoned and see if any of this actually stuck to the pan. So initially it seemed like when you season a pan, it would be easier to clean. It stains the stainless, it makes it a little darker. So I don't think it's necessary to season it for the purpose of cleaning the pan. It might be necessary to season it for the purpose of the utility where say you wanted to flip an omelet or have eggs non-stick or something like that while you're, while you're cooking them. Yes, then I would recommend seasoning it because if you, as you can see in the video, it was very hard to get anything to stick to that pan when it was seasoned. I love this method with the baking soda so much that I went back, heated up the water, and I tried to clean it again with the baking soda just to let it sit for an hour and see if it took the yellowness off from the seasoning. People said that it will discolor it. I mean, I'm sure it, make, it obviously made it very easy to have food slide off of it, but very hard to clean it. It's super challenging to get it back to its original shiny stainless steel color. I, I tried the baking soda and boiling it, that got some of the yellow off. Tried degreaser, that got some off, but these hard carbon stains that are kind of embedded into the pan. I mean, at my elbow grease level on this was a 10 out of 10. The bottom of it's yellow. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of seasoning stainless steel. I mean, it kind of defeats the whole purpose, especially when it cleans really well when it's not seasoned. Now, I'm sure maybe I did something wrong. This is my first time doing it. Uh, you know, I feel terrible being so down on it, but I did not have a good experience with this. If, if you had a better experience or if I did something wrong here, uh, just leave a comment down below, but right now, I will never season another stainless steel pan again. Method number eight, my secret weapon, orange degreaser. I love this stuff. This is a commercially available brand called Orange Thunder, which you may have a hard time getting your hands on. But there is also an equal quality brand on Amazon that I use, and I put a link to it down below. It's called Super Orange and it's a great, great cleaner as well. I love to use both. You can choose what strength you wanna use when you purchase these brands. If you go straight onto it, it's for really, really bad, heavy caked on grease, like a barbecue or something like that, or you can do lighter for cleaning surfaces. It's really great stuff. You may need to just clean a little bit of grease off of a part, whether it's for cooking or not, it works great. I mean, you saw when I poured it into the pan that it actually pushed the grease away. Now, it didn't work as nicely on the crud as the baking soda did. Still though, really, really good thing to have in your arsenal if you wanna clean grease. So what's the best method to clean stainless steel pans? Hands down, baking soda, hot water, let it sit for an hour. The cheapest, the most environmentally safe, the easiest, no elbow grease. One out of 10 out of elbow grease. If that, super clean pan with the yellow side of the sponge. What a method, thank you so much for sharing that with me. The second best method, my secret weapon, Orange Thunder. Look, it didn't take the crud off, but it's really great at cutting grease. You can cut grease anywhere. It doesn't have to be food grease, it cuts any kind of grease. That stuff is awesome. 
So those are the two methods I recommend for you to use here today. I really want to thank you for watching this video. It, I hope it was a big help to you. And if it was, please leave a comment down below. Let me know which method you like best. Hit that subscribe button, stay healthy, and we'll see you again really soon.